Uh, right, so today we're going to learn all about Agile, yeah? And I'm going to take you through this whole lot. So what is Agile? We're going to start with that. Where does this come from? What is it? <clears throat> when, why, where, how to do it as well? But you will leave here with more questions that, than you have right now, but they'll all be different questions because you'd have answered a lot of questions here today. <clears throat> so we'll talk about what is Agile, and then we'll take you a level up to what is Agile for leaders, not just for the teams. Yeah? What are the complex issues behind Agile? What's the wisdom behind Agile? And then we'll talk about where, when, how, and why. We'll talk about the transformation journey. And finally, we'll have a Q&A session in there, right? So we're going to start with a game. <clears throat> and in this one game is everything that Agile is. And it's really, really powerful. Yeah? So what I like to do is every row, I'd like one person to hold up a pen or a pencil. Doesn't matter who. Whoever's got one. We got one there. Every row, one person. One person. Yeah? Okay. Somebody pull out a pen, pull out a pencil, pull out a toothbrush, whatever it is. Yeah? <laughs> you can... <laughs> yeah? Uh, you got a finger. Okay, he's got a finger. That's good. Yeah? So you're going to be sorry for that, but it's okay. Yeah? <laughs> All right, so has every row got something? Right, so what I want you all to do, yeah? Now, you can't do the finger, it's going to be difficult. But <laughs> you have to touch the object, everyone in your row, and say your first name, right? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to time you all. When you're done, you put up your hand, okay, as a row. So, <clears throat> you just touch uh, the, the object, the pencil, or whatever it is and say your name, right? Okay, your time starts now. <clears throat> okay. 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 Keep going, keep going. All right, all right. <clears throat> so we have, we have the best one was around six seconds. I saw a hand go up at six, and there were some at 14 seconds. And, you know, we get some, yeah? So, <clears throat> now in Agile, there's only one question you ask yourself always. Just one question. How do I get better? That's all, yeah? So, how do you get better? How do you do that faster? How do you do that better, yeah? So, your time, iteration number two, yeah? Your time starts now. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay? Okay? All right. All right. Okay. 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 That was great. That went from three seconds to about nine seconds. Yeah? So that was, that was really good. Yeah? So you were doing some running there and there was some leaning there. So you can see some people taking real initiative to get it done. So now we relax and we say, oh yeah, that was really awesome. We went from eight, nine, ten seconds down to three seconds. Fantastic improvement. Let's relax. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to ask you the question again. What's that question? How do I get better? How do I get better? Remember that one. So, now I'm giving you 30 seconds to think about it. 30 seconds. And then we're going to do it again. So your 30 seconds starts now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, your time starts now. Hey! <laughs> How much was that? It was one second, two seconds? Less than a second. Less than a second. Yeah? Isn't that awesome, Sean? Just in three iterations, they went to less than a second. Yeah? So, in that one little game, yeah, is everything that is Agile. Everything. Yeah? So now you're all going to help me find out what is that? What did you all do? What did you all do to go from 7, 8, 9, 14 seconds down to less than a second? Yeah? Hundreds of percent improvement. So, Sean's going to write, yeah? and uh, we're going to ask you to see if you can guess and take a shot at what you did. So what did you all do? Can we have some? Yeah? Sorry? You think. Okay, good. There was thinking. 
Practice. You did the practice? Aha, uh -huh. you focused on the outcome. Very, very important. Yep. Yeah? You adjusted. You learned and you adjusted. What else? Prepared. You actually prepared. You took time to prepare. Did you notice the second time? I didn't give you time. You noticed that. Yeah? I'm sure in your head you knew what you want to do, but there was no time because your boss said, go, 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 go. Doesn't the boss do that sometimes? Start, start, start. Busy, busy, busy. No, no time. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? See, there are lots of people recognize it. Now, now, tomorrow. No, yesterday. Okay. What else? What else did you do? <laughs> Learn. You learned. What else? Collaborate. collaborate. There we go. We collaborated. Yeah? You actually collaborated. What else? Measured. Now, you would not have known <laughs> if the changes you made are getting better or worse. The only way you know that is measuring. At the heart of Agile is measurement. We're all very good at measuring the deliverables, measuring the outcome, measuring the activities, the tasks, but we never measure the process. Very rarely. Yeah? So you're going to learn how to measure the process that you actually do the work. What else? <clears throat> You, oh, was there a little bit of copying going on there? Yeah, by the way, I'm telling you, copying is good. Yeah, yes. You can steal shamelessly, but don't call it that. Call it borrowing brilliance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. And you have to learn and watch not just people within IBM, but people outside IBM. How are the others doing it? Yeah, how are the other uh, people that are doing the similar sort of work that you're doing? How, how do they do it? What are their measures? What else? <clears throat> Sorry? Discussed. Yeah, you listened to each other and you discussed it. Yeah, what else? You agreed. You made an agreement on the process. You said, okay, we're going to do something and let's get together. Right, so I want to ask you, who was the project manager? Who was the project manager? You were the project manager? <laughs> was there anyone else? Project managers? Was there a project manager appointed? No. So how did you do it without a project manager? I mean, how can anything happen without a project manager? Now, <clears throat> you self-directed. You self-adjusted. Now, don't get me wrong. Agile does need project managers. So there's not that there's no project manager. There is. But in the teams very often have the wisdom of how to do things very well. And Agile sort of uses that wisdom of the team, the wisdom of the crowd, to get the best solutions out there, right? Was there leadership? Did anyone in your team show leadership? Yeah? Was there a leader? Was there leadership? Okay, was it only one person? No! That's it. Anyone can show leadership. And that's very important in Agile. You need to all be leaders to take the opportunity. Now, sometimes leadership can be the, s the first follower. This is very, very tricky, actually. You think the person who gets up is the leader. But if nobody follows them, that person's alone. The second person is just as much a leader as the first. Yeah? So remember that. It's all forms of leadership. Now, <clears throat> what did you all do that actually made you go better and better and better? What did you do in, in the cycle of it? You repeated. You iterated. Yeah? You want to iterate. You want to go over. But between the iterations, what did I do? Yeah, you rehearsed, but between the iterations, what did you do? Sorry? Pressure and time, and what else? Evaluated, Evaluated the results, and what was the question I asked? How can I get better? So, when you work, we very rarely give us time to stop and look at how we're doing it. We're always running about and doing things, very busy, very busy email, very busy email. So, <clears throat> you have to take time to think, yeah? And you have to take time to learn, yeah? And to Look at your process. So there are practices in Agile that will make you do this to actually look at. And it's fun. It's not like, oh, we have to go for another meeting. No. These are, these are fun things that you will do. And I'll give you some clues of how to do it and how to do it in a fun way as well. Yeah? 
So, <clears throat> what about the ideas? Where did that idea come from? At the end, you were holding the pen, you all touched it, and you said your name together. You didn't say it one after the other, you said it together. Where did that idea come from? Where did all those... Was it one person who was in the, who was in the innovation department here? Anybody? No, you don't need an innovation department. Yeah? Ideas bounce. And when you listen to somebody and you watch somebody, you pick up on that idea and you think, oh, okay, why not do this? And you've said this, somebody else says that. Yeah? And that's how innovation happens. It's not sitting down, now we shall innovate. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen that way. Yeah? <clears throat> and innovation happens when you're having fun as well. Yeah? So, we've got quite a list of things there that you all are, have identified. Yeah? They're basically principles. They're all the principles of Agile. That's all. Now, underneath that, what did you all do? What were the values you showed to each other yeah, to actually do those principles? What were the human values that you showed to each other? Respect. Yeah? You respected each other. You didn't say, if Mary said, why don't we get up, shut up. <laughs> you, you didn't do that. Yeah? Because then there's no respect. It's finished. Straight away finished. Yeah? So you have to respect each other. What else was underneath? Trust. You had to trust each other. You didn't think, oh, if I give him my pencil, he'll open the door and go away home because he needs a pencil. You thought about it, I know, but... <laughs> But you trust each other. You trust each other that you're working towards the same outcome. You trust each other that you will work towards, let's say, achieving the goals that you'll have discussed. Yeah? What else? <clears throat> so in Agile, there are two other very important values. They're human values. They're not values you have to go to school to learn. They're in us. Yeah? One is courage. I call it the mother of all values. Because without courage, it's difficult. Do you notice how it's a bit difficult to, to, to stand up, to say something in such a big crowd as well? It's, it takes a little bit of effort even to put your hand up and give a suggestion, doesn't it? Be honest. Yeah, it is. It takes courage. So you have a lot of set ways. What is that? BTMT193, BTMT196, all your processes, all your procedures, we're going to challenge them. You're going to challenge every single one of them. Yeah? Because you're going to find out if that's going to stop you getting better or help you getting better. Yeah? So you need courage. <clears throat> and the last one is openness. You must have certain amount of transparency, certain amount of openness. Now, if you don't share your outcomes, if you don't discuss, if you don't collaborate, you said you talk to each other, then you, you, won't, you won't be able to achieve it. You must have honesty and openness. So if you look at the board there, we've got a list of values. So Agile is nothing but a set of human values. Those human values, do you practice that at home? Yeah? Do you have it with your families, with your loved ones? Exactly. It's the same human values. They are nothing different. Yeah? On this side, these are the principles. So on top of these values is a set of principles yeah? that you automatically knew. Nobody had to teach you how to do all this. You just knew it. Yeah? So <clears throat> let us supposing we take photographs of that now and we make posters and put it up on every wall in your building. Will it change the way you work? No. But we all know these values and principles, so why won't it change? It won't change because we have behaviors, and the only way to make these values and principles come alive is to have a set of practices. Yeah? So when you practice something, doing it a certain way, then your behavior changes. When your behavior changes, you live the values and principles, that becomes your habit, that becomes your culture. And that's what Agile is. Agile is a way of working. But most other things, they'll just tell you, yeah, these are your principles, these are your values, let's put it up on the wall. Be innovative. Yeah, okay, hello. Yeah. 
doesn't work. But when you get the practices and you do the practices, you automatically be innovative, right? So that's all Agile is, a set of values, principles, and practices that will change your behaviors and create a great place to work and a great culture.